Quiz Prep Chapter 2 All right, hello. Welcome to Chapter 2 Quiz Prep. Let's get started. Well, here's our special uh, scenario just for Chapter 2 Quiz Prep, okay? The following fictitious data represent the ages of 20 medical students at a state university medical school program. Now it's true, these are fake data, I just made them up, but I just wanted to tell you, I actually did a study before um, of uh, st medical students at the University of South Florida. And I actually had this problem um, that you'll see in this quiz prep. And so that's where I got the idea for this uh, example. Okay, so you will see these are ages, you know, like 19, 20, 21, whatever, um, that are logical. And so, you know, this is chapter two, so we're going to make a stem and leaf. So let's go. All right, so the first question is to make a not split stem and leaf. And I kind of cheated for you in this because I put everything in um, numerical order here. So you see all of their ages, 19, 20, 21, they're all in numerical order. You don't have to have things in numerical order to make a stem and leaf. So I'm going to just show you, uh, well, how do you start? First you start by making the stem. Here's a stem. All right. Um, and then actually you can start anywhere. So let's start, uh, you know, let's say I'm going to start on the 24. So 24, I'm going to do this, this 2, 4, and then I'm going to cross it out. So I put the two on the left side of the stem and the four on the other side. And there's two more 24, so I'm going to put those in, but I just put the four part, right? See that? So now I recounted for those. Let's go to that 19. See, that starts with a one, so I have to start a new uh, leaf here, 19. And my goal is to try and line these up vertically here. Um, okay, let's just pick, let's go up to the threes. Here's the threes you know, because I put this in order. Um, so we're going to do the first one, we have to start this, the leaf, but then we have like 32, 32, 35. And see how I'm trying to line them up vertically because otherwise you won't really see anything. I'm going to cross these out before I forget what I'm doing. All right, that's a trick. You got to cross them out as you do it or else, you know, you just got to have discipline. Okay, we're going to fill in the rest of the two leaf and then you're going to see the issue I had, okay? So let's go, we'll start with 20, so that's a zero, right? And then there's two 21, so we'll do one, one. See, it's nice when they're in order. In real life, they're not always that way. But we can skip around. Here's a 25, right? So we just put the five on the two, um, 28 and 29. Now the, the leaves are not ordered because I'm skipping around. If I had gone in order, then they'd be ordered. But unordered leaves are fine. Um, so I see that there's four 22s. So two, 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 and then three 23s, three, 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 and then cross out, cross out, cross out, have the discipline. But you can see what the problem is. If you have your data all clumped together, like most of our data are in the 20s, obviously that's when medical students go to medical school, uh, you end up with these this like really long leaf and it's very hard to see the distribution, right? That's the shape that is made by the data in a stem and leaf. Okay, so you can see what the problem is. Well, let's go on to question two. Alrighty, so as I just demonstrated this first stem and leaf, we now can look at question one and answer it. Okay, so the first stem and leaf is not split. How many leaves does your first stem and leaf have? And remember we had that 19-year-old that here, and then we had people in their 20s, and then we also had uh, people in their 30s. So we had three leaves, so there were three, right? Uh, so let's see here, I don't know, let's clean this up here. We'll just put this three in, but we need to split it. And I kind of intimated why, but let's look at the choices you have. Uh, so you can be smarter than the medical students. You don't need to split it for that. Okay, so that's not correct. Um, so you can organize the data. Well, that's already organized. That's the whole point of the stem and leaf. So that's not gonna do it, right? Uh, so you can order the leaves. Okay, ordering the leaves has nothing to do with splitting the leaves. So, so you can see the distribution is the correct answer. And um, if you don't understand why, just uh, watch me demonstrate question three, which is now split your stem and leaf. 
So I'm going to show you how to do that, and then you'll, I'll show you how you can see the distribution. Okay, so now we're going to redo our stem and leaf. Let's see here, so we'll have to start with our stem here. We still have to start with the stem, but what we're going to do is split each leaf, right? So we know we have a one leaf, a two leaf, and a three leaf. So what we can start by doing is going one, one, because we're going to split that leaf, two, two, because we're going to split that leaf, and three, three. I should have made this longer. We're going to split that leaf. Now the next part is sort of optional. No like real statistician does it, but I do it because I get confused. So I'm going to do it in a different color. I'm going to choose blue, I guess, here. Okay, so um, I put a little note, right? So here's the note I put. I put zero to four, and then I put five to nine. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. So zero, two, four, five, two, nine. Okay, you might even guess why I'm doing this. I, then you're just very smart. And then five to nine. So these are just notes. You don't normally do this. Um, okay, so why did I do that? Because now I'm gonna, we'll go back to red here. Now I'm gonna make my stem and leaf. So let's go to 19. We'll start, we'll just go in order. So which, so I have choices of two ones. Well, where am I gonna put this nine? Well, aren't you glad I made those notes in blue? See this five to nine? That's where the 19 goes. So I'm gonna go nine, right? Then we start with the 20, so that we're done with that one leaf. So actually, we don't even have a leaf here. Um, okay, so we have 20. That's under the zero to four, so we're gonna put the zero here. And then we have two 21s. I should be crossing this out. Uh, we have two 21s, so that's in the zero to four category and give them some space. And then we have two 20, or no, we have four 22s. Look at that, two, 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 two. So cross out, cross out, cross out, cross out. We're still in the zero to four category, right? Because we've got 23, so we got three of them. Three, three, three. We're still a little crowded. And, um, oops, this one too. And then four, right? We got three, four, 24 is four, four, four. And now, uh, because we put that five to nine note, I know we have to move to the next uh, leaf for uh, this 25. And then the eight, the 28, I'm trying to line these up here, and 29. And then we're done, down to the threes. So 30 is zero, so we're gonna go here, zero. Uh, and then, oh, cross it out. And then two, 32, that's also zero to four. Oopsie, but look, 35, that's in our next leaf, so. So, uh, so how many leaves did we end up with? Uh, well, I can use a different color here so I don't get confused. So this is leaf one, two, three, four, five, right? So we have these five leaves and now we get to do the distribution. Now remember what a distribution is, it's a shape because statisticians like geometry. Well, maybe not all of them do, but I like geometry. So here's our shape see that and yeah you technically have to sort of uh, you know turn your head let's see if I can rotate this here rotate uh, left 90 degrees and then we'll make it a little smaller here there you can go what you're really interested in is actually looking at that shape okay we're gonna get back to this in a moment all right so getting back to our quiz prep just to remind you here what we just did was we answered question three, split your stem and leaf, how many uh, leaves does it have now? It has five. Look at how messy I am. All right, we're going to move on. Okay, moving on to question four. Guided by your stem and leaf displays, complete the frequency table of the data for the nine classes in the table. So see these are nine classes and see these letters here. Uh, and we want to fill in what is the correct uh, number for each letter. So if you think about it, that split stem and leaf, it would pr be pretty easy to count up uh, how many of each of the medical students of each age are in each class. So that's what we're going to do next and fill in uh, these blanks. Okay, so now we're going to go about counting up the frequency. So as you can see, I put the like frequency table here, this like blank one, 
well it's got the letters in it we're just going to scribble the answers in the sides and I also put a much more organized version of the ordered and split stem and leaf so these two things will help us so let's start with the first class which is not age 19 to 20 so here we have there that was supposed to be an arrow um, we have age 19 right okay so that counts as a one I'll just start tallying it. one and then we have age 20 we have one of those maybe I should cross these off here and that's all we get in there so that's gonna be um, uh, two in that well let's erase this mess okay so let's tally up the next ones Go back to the brush here so the next one is 21 to 22 so we have two ones see this and what do we have four twos one two three four and that's all she wrote so that comes out to six see that so we're gonna put a six here and then there's gonna be easier way to erase this oh there let's do that all right I'm so used to writing on the board okay so let's go back to 23 24 is the next one so we got three threes right one two three cross them off one two three and three fours one two three one two three and uh, what's that another six six that's kind of a lame six let's try again we'll put it over here all right uh i'll try my new trick here i'll get rid of this um now we'll go back and look at the what is this this is uh the next um, class we got to do is 25 and 26 but you know what we only have one 25 year old in here so I'm actually gonna put that here so I don't get confused then we have 27 and 28 but look at that we only got one person there so um, and then we have 29 and 30 and believe it or not we have two people here so we'll do two and then 31 and 32 we have one here and then 33 and 34 yeah we actually have zero you have to put that one in I mean just because it's zero we do we can't ignore it we can't just skip it and then with 35 and 36 even though we don't really have any 36s we, we have one of these so we have one now I always say at the end it's important to count these up so let's see here it's 6 and 2 is 8 and 6 is 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so we have 20 medical students and that's how many we should be what happens if you don't get 20 you screwed up and here's what quiz prep looks like if you fill it in with those correct answers I just thought I'd show that to you all right let's go on to the next question okay now I'm gonna help you draw your histogram so what you'll see over here on the right side um, I put I filled it in with our answers so you really need to be looking at this at the same time as filling in your histogram because you'll see the classes for the histogram are going to be the same as the classes for the uh, uh, frequency table all right so let's get started so you'll see on the y-axis here this is this is the frequency or the number so in the 19 to 20 category here we have a 2 so that bar is going to go up to 2 here so let's draw a bar up to 2 okay now let's go to the next one uh, 21 to 22 so I always just start by trying to make the bar right and you can see I'm not a very good artist here so we're gonna do see that uh, and then 23 to 24 again that's a 6 up here I'm not very neat but here we go 25 to 26 oh that's a little one it's a one oh, it's so cute there it is and then 27 to 28 that's also a onesie here we go uh, 29 to 30 that's a twosie here we go up there Ooh, that looks like a crooked teeth crooked teeth histogram okay um, and then 31 to 32 is a one you see where I'm getting these numbers right I'm getting these numbers from over here from the frequency um, and that's what this stands for is frequency number it's not very pretty but there it is well what do we do for 33 to 34 we got a goose egg here like I don't even make anything I just made that line just for you to know I would just leave it out um, and then finally 35 to 36 we we have one now remember what I did when we did our uh, 
stem and leaf, how I turned it on its side. I hope it didn't make you sick. Um, but I wanted you to see the distribution. Well, I'm going to do that again. I'm not going to turn it on the side, but I'm going to draw that, that picture, right? So you'll see, remember how that last one, it was kind of the same shape? Well, that's the distribution, and that's what we're going for. That's the whole point of doing stem and leaves and doing histograms is to see that distribution. All right, so we're going to go and use our frequency histogram to answer question seven. So guided by your stem and leaf displays, which you could look at, but we're really looking at the frequency histogram. Uh, identify the shape of the distribution. So I'm going to go back and make things purple because I love purple and that's a nice picture. Okay, so before we even answer this question, I just want to remind you of what the distributions look like. So our first one here that we see is this normal bell shaped, just reminding you that that looks like that. And the main deal with that is that it's symmetrical, right? And so you can see if you look to the left at our distribution, it's not like that. So we know then that that first answer is not correct. So let's go and cross it out. Then uh, let's look at the next possible choice, which is uniform distribution. Uniform, you know what that means, is the same. And actually what those uh, histograms look like is they look like a bunch of buildings that are about the same size, right? So that would be uniform. And we do not have that going on, as you can see. So we don't have a uniform distribution. So we'll get that idea out of there. Well, now we're left with skewed left and skewed right. And I'm just going to draw the two pictures. So you, you, you know, skewed means sort of bunched up on one side. So you're, you're thinking, okay, this is probably skewed, but is it left or right? So I'm going to draw two pictures. Whoops. I always do that. Okay, two pictures. Here's one where you've got a tail over there. And then here's one where we got the tail over on the other side. So which one is skewed left and skewed right? Well, I like to use the term light. So if it's skewed left, it's light on the left. Okay, so this is light on the left because it's low, right? And skewed right would be light on the right. I don't know why I use that. Light on the left, skewed left. Light on the right, skewed right. But it helps me remember because, you know, the, the bulge is somewhere and the lightness is somewhere. And which side are you talking about with uh, skewed right or skewed left? Well, the light side is what you're talking about. So now let's go and diagnose what we got here. So we got light on the right, skewed right and not skewed left. Okay, I hope you're all prepared for Chapter 2 quiz. Good luck.